Hi, my name is Faith. I am a sophomore with City Impact. And, <laughs> and this piece is called Step Stool. Honestly, when I think of what he looks for in a girl, I automatically picture the prettiest, most popular girl in school. Long blonde hair that flows down to the middle of her back, it shines as bright as the sunset. She's quite tall, but still shorter than the guys and no more than a size two in her jeans. Perfection is the key to success. He wants you long, thin, and a little curvy. With eyes that sparkle like the 4th of July, eyelashes longer than the days between now and summer. He wants you tan like smooth, creamy caramel and smart, but not too smart, so he can still show you off to his friends and at least have the chance of winning an argument. He wants you to be beautiful. It's what's on the outside that counts. I'm not good enough for him. I don't have the looks, the personality. I'm not sporty enough. Whatever the reason, I'm just not good enough. I can't be perfect for him, but everything in me screams I need to be. I have to prove that I am worthy. And I guess it all boils down to I really don't know what he wants because he sets these expectations that are higher than the tippity top of the space needle and I'll never reach them because I'm too, sh too short anyway. Someone tell me what he wants because if I just, no. No, I'm tired of all these infinite expectations that I'll never catch up to. Expectations that he has set and expectations that I have set for him because I think that he wants someone skinny and beautiful. I believe he deserves better, prettier, smarter than me. Take away the qualifications, the points, the ranks, even then we still don't match up because we aren't even in the same category. Nerds and jocks don't mix. This isn't the breakfast club. I'm not Allison getting a makeover. You won't fall head over heels in love with me because I've set expectations that are higher than the tippity top of the space needle. But don't worry, I'm carrying a step stool.